Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three dividend stocks that score a 10 out of 10. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. Today we're taking a look at three perfect 10 dividend stocks. They all come in with a strong buy rating and an outperform based on eight different unique metrics. So we're going to take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, and of course how Wall Street is weighing in on the stock's future. Now we found today's stocks using the best dividends page over on tipranks.com. The best dividend stocks can be found under the dividends menu, and here you're going to see a list of dividend paying companies with that smart score of 10. I sorted mine by dividend yield, but you can sort by any of these metrics, plus narrow down by market cap and sector. And of course, for all of you dividend investors, don't forget to check out the TipRank's Smart Dividend Newsletter as well. The dividend newsletter comes out on a weekly basis and helps simplify the very best of TipRank's technology and data. They'll show you the reasons behind every stock recommendations based on this data, and there'll be a carefully selected high-quality dividend stock recommendation every single week. Check out the dividend newsletter by following the links in the description down below. Now let's get right into our three perfect 10 dividend stocks. First up is International Game Technology under the ticker IGT. Their stock currently trades at $32.78 per share and has seen impressive growth this past year, up 62% and over 20% in just the last few months. We can see that 10 out of 10 smart score over on the right with bullish blogger sentiment, increased hedge fund activity, and positive crowd wisdom. IGT does pay a quarterly dividend payment. With their next ex-dividend date coming up soon on August 14th for payment on August 29th, the current quarterly dividend is $0.20 cents per share for a dividend yield of 2.46%. IGT provides entertaining and responsible gaming experiences. From lotteries and gaming machines to sports betting and digital, they're leveraging a wealth of compelling content, substantial investment in innovation, player insights, operational expertise, and leading-edge technology. Their IGT Play Sports platform is the pinnacle of their sports betting offering and is the market-leading retail offer in the United States, offering a variety of retail and mobile products that utilize this enterprise-class technology. They are also a big name in electronic table games, helping redefine table gaming and maximizing floor space with popular games such as Roulette, Baccarat, and Blackjack. Their latest earnings report did come out on August 1st, where the company had an earnings beat. For their Q2, they reported earnings per share of $0.45, cents, which beat expectations by $0.05 cents per share, and revenue came in at $1.06 billion. Following solid momentum across all business segments, they also increased their fiscal 2023 outlook. Following this report, we've had several Wall Street analysts reiterate their ratings on the stock, including several that increased their price targets. Right now, the IGT stock comes in as a unanimous, strong buy with an average price target of over $40. That would be an upside potential of 24%. Down below, we can see a couple five-star analysts reiterating price targets as well, with them ranging from 12 to 64% in this past week. Our second 10 out of 10 dividend stock is Gildan Activewear. Their stock trades under the ticker GIL and is currently priced just above $31 per share. Now they have had a lot more ups and downs this past year, but overall are up a few percent, including 6% in the last three months. Their 10 out of 10 score here does come with a strong buy consensus from analysts, very positive crowd wisdom, and positive news sentiment. Gildan is one of the world's largest manufacturers of basic activewear. If you've ever had t-shirts made for a sporting event or something of the sort, you probably recognize their name on the tag. And while they are a big name in that wholesale basic apparel, they also are the name behind some other brands like American Apparel, Comfort Colors, Gold Toe, and Pets. With approximately 50,000 employees and being in the business for 38 years, their vertically integrated business model helps provide them with strong oversight, enhanced efficiency, cost competitiveness, and supply chain resiliency. Their quarterly dividend also has an ex-dividend date coming up this month. That'll be on August 23rd for a payment date of September 18th. Their current quarterly dividend amount is $0.19 cents per share for a dividend yield of 2.3%. Their latest quarterly report came out on August 3rd, and they did come out with an earnings beat, which was good because they had two misses in the previous quarters. 
For their Q2, they reported earnings per share of 63 cents, coming in two cents ahead of expectations, and sales came in at 840 million. However, the company did lower their full year outlook to reflect the impact of current market conditions. And as the company lowered their future outlook, we did see a lot of analysts slightly lower their price targets, but they did all maintain buy ratings. So the stock comes in as a unanimous strong buy with an average price target of $36, which would still be an upside of 16% from current prices. And down below, we can see all of these reiterated price targets. We do have one, it's a buy rating with a downside of 17%. And on the high end, we have an upside of nearly 30%. And third on our list is Baker Hughes. Their stock trades under the ticker BKR, currently priced at $35.57 per share. Now this is another one that has seen some great growth this past year, up 49% in the past year and 27% in just the last few months. Their 10 out of 10 rating does come with increased hedge fund activity, bullish blogger sentiment, and a neutral new sentiment. The ex-dividend date for their dividend was just today, so I apologize we didn't get this out a bit sooner, but they do pay a quarterly dividend. And that dividend is 20 cents per share for a dividend yield of 2.11%. Their payment date will be on August 18th. Baker Hughes is an energy technology company. They develop and deploy the most advanced technologies to serve energy and industrial companies looking for more efficient, more reliable, and cleaner solutions. Their company focuses on oil field services and equipment, liquefied natural gas, industrial technology, energy transition, and industrial asset management. They came out with an earnings beat for their latest quarter back on July 18th, reporting earnings per share of 39 cents, which beat expectations by 6 cents per share. They also had orders of 7.5 billion for the quarter, which was up 28% year over year, and revenue of 6.3 billion, which was up 25%. And their stock has gathered a bit more attention than the other two. They currently come in as a strong buy based on 17 current analyst ratings. That is based on 15 buys and two holds, with an average price target of nearly $40 per share, which would be a growth potential of 12%. Looking down below here, we can see a lot of buy ratings coming in following that earnings report. We do have one hold as well, uh, and one from last month with a downside of 12%. But on the high end, we do have some price targets well above 20%. So there we have three dividend stocks all coming in with a strong buy and a 10 out of 10 rating on the tip rank smart score. Let me know your thoughts on these companies in the comments down below. I always appreciate hearing from you guys and please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock. Please make sure you're always doing your own due diligence and research. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.